Now Schroeder. To the inside. Here's to Jakovic. Pass to Reddish. And here's Gobert. And the wide open shot from Reddish. Pulled the shot a little left, but the bounce goes his way. And how about the recognition by Gobert? I mean, of course, it does help when you're seven feet like Rudy. It can give you a clean view of the court. Now here's Schroeder. Now here is Diakovic. Here's Giddy. Sinks the triple. And they don't want to get in a habit of giving him open looks from three. First quarter still, but not who you want to leave open. Pass to Smiths. Over Gobert. And it's Smiths missing. Boy, that's got to be terribly frustrating there. I mean, with the defense not hustling, and he still misses. Boy, he wishes he had that one back. Now here's Schroeder. Here's Giddy. The shot's good on the assist by Schroeder. Giddy's got six. How about that dish by Schroeder? Always a good idea to get it to the open man. That's, that's just good basketball. And you know what? You allow a guy to get right to the rim like that. That's your only option. Yeah, exactly. I mean, free throws are always better than a layup. So I'd agree with you there. Well, probably a little draft in the arena tonight. He's the last guy you expect to miss the mark by that. Absolutely. Now here's Duncan. Inside. Here's Smits. Looking to end the run. It's stolen by Schroeder. Pass to Reddish. Schroeder outside. Lock at six. Two minutes remaining in the first. Two minutes. Here's to Jakovic. And he hits it just before the shot clock expires. Excellent all-around performance so far. Hence the big lead. Yeah, you know, they've had the advantage at both ends. They've got all the momentum early on. Baseline J on the way. Second shot opportunity. Gobert with the block. And that's why you want Gobert on the floor. He's as good defensively as any big you will ever see. And it just seems that every pass they make is leading to a score. Just great ball movement. And for Dennis Schroeder, playing in the NBA was a promise fulfilled to his dearly departed father. Greg, how about this? As a young man, he swore to his dad that he'd make it. And after his dad's passing, Dennis discovered a note from his dad encouraging him to continue to follow his dream. To the right side. On the wings to Jakovic. Over in the corner, Reddish. That's his second shot and his second basket. He's two for two. Defensively, giving up far too many open rhythm looks. And to battle back, they've got to shore up the defense. I mean, there's no other way to come back from a deficit unless you play good defense. Personal foul. Wow, he got whacked on that one. Shouldn't be much debate there. Blatant contact. Straightforward call. Simple. And he sinks the second. Boy, the energy Ginobili plays with is actually unbelievable. He's a whirling dervish out there who is always doing something borderline spectacular. Now here's Williams. On the wing, George. Back to Williams. It's three pointers off the mark. Pass to Ginobili. Fires for three. Here's Leonard. Tries again. And as the first quarter wraps up, already a double digit lead. The Celtics. They lead by 11.
And welcome back to the second quarter of action. Plenty of basketball left to play, but this one has been one-sided so far. Guys, what's your take on the home team so far? Well, they came in on a mission, razor-sharp offense in that first period. Yeah, I agree. That was a flawless offensive performance so far. I mean, the shots have been falling. They're making good decisions. That's a nice recipe there. To the middle, Duncan. Off the mark, had a chance to trim it to single digits. Has to go bare. Here's Reddish. Shot goes down. Very quick possession right there. Love the pass there from Gobert. Always nice when your big man feeds his teammates. And that's the battle they haven't been winning today. Their work on the glass has been porous, and that's got to change. Yeah, no question about it. I mean, they're looking to battle back. That's one of the key elements. You got a rebound. And no issues at the rim for Gobert. One of the league leaders and flushes. The Frenchman loves to finish above the rim. That's the kind of D you need when he's got the ball near the hole. They were all over. And that's foul number two. And maybe you don't sit him at this point, but you really have to be careful to not pick up another before half. Here's Giddy. He's got six. Stojakovic with the three. Here's Gobert. Pass to Giddy. From deep. The long distance squeeze Barry. Giddy's got nine. Now, assists like that have typified their effort today. Terrific ball movement. Really a prime example of the difference in how these teams have operated offensively. Much more individual play at the other end. Kicks it out to Leonard. And too much time in the lane. They get called for the three-second violation. And just a little too lax with that for possession. Team. And it cost them. Michael. And I tell you what, more brain-neutral plays like that one is have a hole deeper than the one they're already in. Back to Iverson. Pass to Abdul Raouf. Off target from three-point range. And, Greg, you look at the power that Kawhi Leonard plays with. Incredibly strong for his position. And Kevin, it helps him finish through contact on offense. And it also lets him guard bigger men. Kawhi makes great use of that strength. Clever move by Schroeder there, ensuring that he drew the foul while also still getting the shot up. Good on the second free throw. And so here's the home team. They've only given up one point in the second quarter. That one coming at the line. And Dennis Schroeder gets the whistle that time. That is his first foul of the game. 149 left to play here in the second quarter. Over in the corner, Reddish hits it from three-point range. Nine points in the game so far. You can rely on Schroeder's passing ability. He does a good job finding and setting up shooters. Great D that time from Stojakovic. Just a solid performance on the interior. The rebounding has been off the charts. Yeah, you look across the board, it's actually sizing up, shaping up to be a great game. I mean, strong performances throughout, and they've really been strong on the glass. Pass to Giddy. The train. A shot missing. They have a very long way to go to get within sight of the lead. And from what we've seen Team so far, game. guys, don't hold your breath. Oh, and this is some serious showmanship. Loving that tomahawk right there. Frank, he came with force, and that's not just about getting two points. That was sending, I think, a message. Well said, because it really could shift momentum here. I mean, the energy you see from the guys on the bench when they get pumped up like that, I think everybody gets pumped up. And a little under three and a half minutes elapsed in the second quarter of play. Yeah, this looks like a free game shoot around with all the threes they're allowed. Ginobili outside. Here's Smith. Gobert pulls it in. And this will be the last possession of the quarter if they're patient. Yeah, they've got to hold for the last shot here. 
Schroeder outside. Pass to Stiakovic. Here the long range jumper. Stiakovic has got 13. Talk about execution on the offensive end. They're leaving nothing on the table right now. Yep, they're starting to stretch this lead out. Too much offense to keep pace with. Well, we've got a second half of basketball for you. We think it's going to be pretty good. A big comeback, though, is needed for this game to be competitive, and it probably has to happen quickly. It's going to be over and back, not watching for the line that time. And just a little too lax with that possession, and it cost them. And I tell you what, more brain-neutral plays like that one, and they'll have a hole deeper than the one they're already in. Master Gobert over in the corner, Reddish. Connects from three-point range. He's got 12. 12 straight points off of three-pointers. And the D shells And guys, now that they're rolling from out there, the defense has to really get up into them. You've got to almost be in their jerseys to try to deny those looks. Fires the three. Giddy, no good. Here's Smith's. Still looking for his first bucket in this one. Back to Schroeder. Ginobili outside. Pass to Duncan. Five to shoot. Over Stojakovic. That one wide left. And a minute played as the second half gets going. Giddy, no good. Schroeder with the ball. Down low. Kicks it out to Leonard. Whoops, there's a 24-second the shot clock violation. So they turn it over. Fourteen ball. Now into the first minute and a half of basketball here in Kevin the third quarter. Mikhail, Michael Porter. Iverson Jr. right side. Allen Iverson. Trills the three-pointer. Iverson got his first three points of the game. Four Out of their three. last hot mates, how about all five? Allen Iverson. Well, the defense just hasn't pressed up to deny any of those looks, guys. I mean, they're hanging back and getting picked apart. And here is Ginobili. Just three to shoot. Violation. Not watching the line there. That'll be a backcourt violation. Into the lineup for the costly era there. We'll see how they rebound from that miscue. Well, you know what? Their wounds are self-inflicted. I mean, you've got to play much smarter than that. Back to Iverson. No good on the triple. Now Leonard. And there's the eight-second call as they can't get it across half court in time. Oh, costly error there. We'll see how they rebound from that mistake. Well, you know what? Their wounds are self-inflicted. I mean, we've got to play much smarter than that. From deep, George knocks down the three ball. George has got himself on the board with three there. And the first thing you notice about Green, the next level athleticism, incredible burst off the dribble, and makes smooth adjustments midair. Bounce pass, Schroeder to the paint. Duncan right side. Pass to Leonard. And it's Smith's missing. This has been a one-sided affair. Yeah, they've done a nice job of extending their lead and maintaining that intensity level. Now here's Williams. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. Down low. Here's Green. And it's good assisting on the play was Williams. Uh, unwilling to let up even for a moment. That's his killer instinct just fanning the flame. Yeah, I love the fact he doesn't play the score. He just keeps coming. Attack mode. He doesn't know how to step off the gas pedal. Pass to Schroeder. Back to Leonard. Schroeder with the ball. They could use a bucket. They grabbed their own miss. Duncan. 
inside. Here's Smits. Doesn't go for him. Boy, you can just see the frustration growing on their faces. Nothing going their way. You know, guys, no denying it's been a rough patch here. I think they've got to run whatever is best in their playbook to get a good shot. And as we conclude the third quarter, pretty much a blowout. It's been... And one quarter to go in a game that to this point has not been an evenly fought contest. Here's Williams. And it's a defensive three-second violation. Home team ball. Shooting for the And so he hits the technical free throw. Yeah, but I just love the winning mentality that Grant brings. A big bruising forward who can score at a steady clip. And so it's going to be a three-second violation out there on the defense. Home team ball. Shooting for the home team. And he shows the focus there, nails the technical. Six on the shot clock. Drives to the hoop. That's tipped. Boy, the size of Smith so intimidating. The seven foot three Hawk he uses those big hands to turn away shots. That's tipped. And the call will be against Darren Williams. That's, That's his first foul. First personal foul. First team foul. Checking in for the home team. Duncan outside. Michael Porter Jr. Alan Shot clock Iverson. at six. Mahmoud Abdul From Rahul. deep three-point range. It's rebounded by Allen Iverson. And they've got a big lead, not just on the scoreboard, but really in the rebounding numbers as well. And what I like about it, it's been a physical brand of basketball. Oh, it's had a little sandpaper oh, element to it. Duncan. Gritty. And rough. That's, his first That's how you win games. Foul. You know first what? You've got foul. to always be in control of your emotions. Great frustration right there. And I agree with you. Self-control of your emotions is a must-have if you're going to play winning basketball. It's never easy trying to keep him off the glass. He's an absolute beast down there. Pass to Leonard. Back to Schroeder. Now here's Leonard. To the middle. Picks it out to Ginobili. Just over a minute and a half played here in the fourth. Here's Abdul Rauf. Driving the lane. Hangs in midair and converts on the double clutch lane. Yeah, and right when you thought that shot was leaving his hands, he reinvents it. Pass to Leonard. In the corner, it's Ginobili. And here's Duncan, guarded by Porter. Back to Leonard. To the inside. Duncan outside. Back to Ginobili. Trying to get something going. Green with the rebound. And you could tell he thought that triple was going to fall. Fourth quarter of play, and we're about two and a half minutes through it right now. To the paint. Here's McHale. And it's Kevin McHale with the finish. Boy, you have to be impressed with the offensive production. They have got it firing on all cylinders. And, you know, the lead just keeps growing. I mean, this game is not going to get out of their grip. They're going to keep pulling away. Pass to Smiths. Back to Ginobili. Over Iverson. Ginobili can't hit. One item that stood out, their ball move. Things are definitely clicking. And more importantly, it makes it really hard to defend. To the middle. Here's McHale. And it's slammed in by McHale. And it's just competing. And, you know, giving your best when it matters most. Yeah, you know, once they got victory in their view, a huge injection of energy and a great run to finish it off. Takes it out to Leonard. 
Three pointer. And McHale pulls it down. You know, he's just not taking good shots, not taking smart shots, forcing up a lot of low percentage jump there. Shot and game clock separated by five. Over in the corner, Green. It's up a three. Hands it from downtown. And perimeter scoring. I have to imagine it was a top.